She tested positive for COVID and doctors had to deliver her baby girl early. And then things got even more serious. First time mother Rachel Holshoff was 35 weeks pregnant when she tested positive for COVID and was put on a ventilator. Two months later, Rachel is still in the hospital recovering from a double lung transplant and has yet to meet her daughter. Yeah, Megan Woods is live with this mother's fight to get her life back and to see her baby girl, Megan. Yeah, well, great news. Rachel is awake and she's recovering in this hospital right here, Henry Ford. And today when she woke up, she was surrounded by family and friends. They showed her a picture of her beautiful baby girl. And it was an emotional moment, especially because years ago, Rachel was told that having kids wasn't possible for her. And that's why during her pregnancy, she was a little nervous about getting the vaccine put in her body. All she wanted to do was meet her daughter. And that's the hardest part of it all. Valerie Wright has been close friends with Rachel for the last 20 years and says the last time they saw each other was at Rachel's baby shower. Anytime you see you take a peek at her, she's rubbing her belly. Like any new mother, Rachel was nervous. She had asked you know, us about our birth plans before, and I said birth plans never go as planned. But what happened next is not what anyone could have predicted. In early August, just a few days after testing positive for COVID, she was admitted to the hospital. Eventually, she was put on a ventilator. 30 minutes later, she had a C-section and had a baby girl, Callie. For someone that couldn't and did, and she has such a beautiful daughter, we just... We can't wait for her to meet her and just see her be a mom finally. She was so excited. So I just, the thought of this being ripped away from her is just agonizing. It's just been an agonizing pain every day. Rachel was on a ventilator for weeks. Her lungs hit the hardest. And just last week, doctors gave her a double lung transplant. And we just tell her, just keep fighting, Rach, keep hanging on. You know, we're doing everything we can to get you where we need to get you. Even though Rachel has opened her eyes, she still has a long and hard fight ahead with a happy ending in sight. She knows that baby Callie is waiting for her. And while Rachel is in the hospital fighting to get out, her family and friends on the outside are raising thousands of dollars for her recovery. That could be for medical bills and her bills at home, anything she needs to recover. And if you want to donate, that information will be on Click on Detroit. Live in Detroit, Megan Woods, Local 4. Man. So, uh, Megan, where is, where is the baby now? So baby Callie is with her father. He's off work taking care of her. And that's again why this GoFundMe, why they're raising money to help their family. Sure, so sure. yeah. All right. They're hoping people, you know, come out and help. Yeah. Okay. One more deal. Megan, we appreciate it very much.